world's most punchable man. All right, I, I have to go play a second if I, I don't know if I have the legs to do it, but I know somebody who does the legs to do it. Seraphie's leaving me here. Seraphie has the set to play. Somebody's still in brackets. Somebody didn't rush through their sets. But regardless, we'll focus on what we have on the screen here. We got Nemo and Mox rocking it out. This is another one of our qualifiers for winner's side top eight. What's up, Spence? Hop in here. Hop on. I'll be here for a short amount of time. Until I'm called for my Spence will be here for a short amount of time, but... That might be all we need him for, the way that Nemu is rocking this offstage combo. Right now, though, Mox is just going to hang on. Diddy Kong, Go ahead. Diddy Kong does not have the dude weight. That is a light monkey. So in situations like that, you're getting hit by the anvil or any of Steve's really strong kill options. You really got to DI to save your life. Yeah, and you have a lot of pressure coming from Nemu for those kill options. We're seeing a lot of anvils and TNTs coming out. Forward smashes as well. Uh, we already have the diamond out as well. Uh, a forward smash is gonna do it. Maybe a back air from middle stage might even do it. Um, yeah, there the are DI. there are myriad options available to Nemo here as he tries to close this stock. And Mox gets hit by the last hit of that anvil there, but that's the weak hit, so she's doing fine for now. Often you see Steve players save the diamond. There's only the second stock as the anvil gets the kill there. But this time Nemo was only at 20% when he got that diamond. He said, "All right, I'm going to sales. I got it here, baby." On the top of percent, we're already seeing that percent be lapped, and I'm also being called for my match. Okay, well, Spence, it was short but sweet. We appreciate you anyway. Already, Mox trying to find a way back into this match, but right away, already almost lapped in percent, and there you go. 87 to 78, but the lives are not equal. Mox had dash attack through, not able to be punished. It looks like Nemo was looking for a footstool down here. Still has Mox off stage here. He is in full control. This is still best of three territory. And, okay, an interesting edge guard. A little bit of Berlin Wall action there. But gets the job done, and this three stock to one lead, less than two minutes into this one. Nemu going rapid fire here to start off this winner's quarterfinal. Mox, you see the effort she's making to try and challenge the minecart in the air, but so far, not quite there with the spacing. Diddy Kong doesn't have any disjoints. He does get some elongation on a few of his aerials, but in general, it can be tough for him. He doesn't have a Cloud Buster Sword or anything like that. Nice carry as we get things started here on the second stock. Mox was finally able to trim off that first stock from Nemu. But right now, it's an edge guard situation for the Steve player. <laughs> Mox getting trapped behind the anvil there. Cock blocked by the blacksmith. Alrighty, Nemu, that recovery is so difficult to punish. And there go the walls. Saw a bunch of those in Super Smash Con this weekend. Build the deck, please! No. He's a bit more chased than that. Not gonna give us that on screen. But right now, we're gonna get a hot combo coming up from Mox. And finishing it up with the up smash. Even with the 91% rage, that's not enough to finish Nemu off the top. The wide blast zones here on PS2. Still diamond tools available to Nemu. Doesn't have another one in the bank, though. Well, speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. Nice job getting that air dodge. Looks like it was a directional air dodge from Nemo We're trying to go out a bit of a panic option because there was a wall there. Nothing for him to go through. He can't phase through those. Remember now, dash attack through. He can play this one pretty safe. He has those diamond tools. Doesn't have much iron though. Mox may be starting to cook a little bit. Diddy Kong with rage. Interesting to see how that affects the combos. And Nemo, well, I thought he had messed up that chase attempt on the minecart, but in the end, a second back air of the diamond variety, able to clean things up. And that puts him one game away from booking his spot in top eight. Of course, as we mentioned, Mox here by virtue of an upset, getting that win over Nico 4 earlier on in the winner's bracket. That's a PR win to put on your resume. Mox now facing somebody a bit higher on the PR in Nemo, trying to join Oxine, Dimitri, and Tickle, the one, four, and two seeds in that winner side top eight. Nico 4 actually out of bracket already. Dropped down to losers and lost to Purin in that matchup. Nico 4 not playing any Kazia today, at least so he says. This was all Shulk for him. So Purin will move on, faces Kaz next. On back of uh, set we saw at UBC last Friday, in fact. But right now, focusing on the set we have on stream, it's Final Destination. The vacation destination of choice. Right now, pretty even start here. I think the big change that Mox will try and incorporate in this game number two is just not falling behind in such a grave deficit. But so far, 
Whatever adjustments she's trying to make, not really coming off. And okay, nice job saving the jump there from Monk. She will be able to recover, get her barrels back. Right now, though, Nemo still looks to be in a solid spot. Nice parry coming up from Monk there to try and start a couple things up, but only about a two or three piece. And for right off of ledge, Mox is taken to the sky to get that back air. But again, Steve doesn't really have to play much disadvantage. Able to get back onto stage here. Another minecart sent out. Nemu has a good cache of iron to work through. Doesn't elect to use any there. Just straight with the Elytra. I like the idea coming out from Mox there. Trying to catch a minecart a bit too close to the ground. No minecart needed that time. Another up smash coming out. And Mox takes this lead at 130%. And what can we get started? Well, nothing. We can get caught by another Enderman back here. A little bit of backboard usage there from Nemu, but not able to capitalize too, too much. Mox here still holding a slight lead. Oh, no punish on that whiff dash attack. But still holding center stage, which is really solid. Cat caught, rather, by that anvil. Using the barrels to break through the wooden walls. We saw that. That's a tweak strat. He was employing quite a bit when he does use this character against Steve. What a great read there by Nemu. Catching with the forward smash from center stage. But you've got diamond tools. That sort of crust on the blade. You're going to be sending your opponents into the blast zone more often than not. Steve player here, no punish. Both these characters have those zippy recoveries. The uppies rather they can use right into stage. Difficult to capitalize unless you're really in the right position. Mox not able to capitalize on the banana toss on that opportunity. Nemo here feels like hasn't really done too much, but already 73% on this last stock. Just sort of nickel and diming his way, but when you got those kind of diamond tools, nickel and dimes, the exchange rate, I mean, you're making a lot of moolah in those situations. Alrighty, I like that combo. We haven't seen too much monkey flip from Mox in this set. Obviously, Nemo was able to catch something out with a forward smash or an up tilt. It's a dangerous spot to be right in front of his face. But there, hiking to the top of the wall, there's Mox to connect the back air. Gets caught by the ammo here. Might have been saved a little bit by the block. Wasn't able to get a tech, but canceled a little bit of that momentum. Nemo here continuing to apply the pressure, Mox. Taking a quick breather on the side there, but up and out you go once again. No anvil catch on that recovery. Mox here has to find something and find it quick. Nice monkey flip. Tries to challenge that minecart, able to get in with a fair anyways. It's gold tools for Nemu, so the frame data, even against a character as speedy as, Zippy, as Diddy Kong, is going to be in his favor, and that dash attack will catch Mox. No DI is going to save her in that moment, and it's a quick 2-0 for Nemo. He's on to winner's side top 8, and Mox, if I can